The more you, the more mistakes you make on camera, yeah. the more you realize who you are. Feel me, and the more you can change who you are. <laughs> facts, facts. You're never gonna know exactly who you are. Like nobody tells you. I know. Oh, you know that that um that book that you read and uh, that we all read. Forty Eight Laws of Power. No, no, the book that we all read in like kindergarten, right? Which one? So like uh the little sparkle, the rainbow fish, the rainbow. Yeah, yeah. I heard that. So take in the whole time. I, that was given to us to read as like a, a little person, right? And yeah. we're still soaking up all this information, right? Mm -hmm. And did you know the main theme of that is like actually bad? Why? Why is it bad? So like the main Isn't it about being different? Yeah, no, but it, it plot twist. You don't you don't remember? I don't so remember it. The Rainbow Fish had like the sparkles and like all the kids would like go like look at that one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um all the other kids, all the other fish were like, Oh no, we don't wanna we don't wanna play with you, you're different. Right, <laughs> and then the the fish goes to the octopus, like a random octopus. He said, yeah. "Oh, if you give your sparkles away, then they might be nicer to you." So, bro, he gives all his fucking sparkles away, and at the end of the book, all the kids have the sparkles, and everyone's same. Everyone's the same. Oh, because he gave it away, so yeah, he's not different anymore. Not he different. gave it away. Yeah. So, so was the what was the message at the end of the book? So it's like, uh, you can buy people's like um, ki you can buy people's friendship instead of just being a nice person. Yo, yeah. and if you think about it, at the time, that's what people were doing. Exactly. No, nobody was that different back in the day. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Yo, nobody. if you think about it, because at that time, the only weird people in society were either musicians or celebrities. Yeah. But nowadays, since <laughs> everybody has eyes on them for random reasons, yeah, yeah. everybody has like a channel now. Yeah. <laughs> Now you can see everybody's like quirks and shit. Uh, yo, take it. I, I was at LCVO and I, yeah. I, I practiced every day for my social anxiety. What do you do? What do you do? I, I, was, with my I was with my girl and in the middle of LCVO when we were buying liquor, mm -hmm. we, I was like, turtles. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone looked at She's like, shut the fuck up. She's like, what are you doing? She's like, I was like, yo, go watch the recent podcast. Uh, you, gotta, <laughs> you gotta step it up. You gotta step it up now. Now, now, now you've done that part. Now you gotta go up to somebody and then say it to them in their eyes. And no, like, uh, <laughs> that, that is gonna need like more courage. Me, bro, I'm telling you, the moment you do that, you're gonna start unlocking some side quests, bro. <laughs> There's some people I met in my life that I just talked to them for no reason. Really? Dead ass, like back in university, I would talk mm -hmm. to somebody for no reason, talking about some random shit. Yeah, yeah. And I, I unlock a mission. Mm -hmm. Like I unlock like going to get tea with them. Yeah. <laughs> are, are you the type of guy who's like, oh, okay, say you have like, um, you have bad um service at a restaurant. Yeah. Are you the guy? You know, like how your Filipino mom, like they're they'll usually complain for you, right? I'm never the type. You never like to complain? Yeah, like even if I'm getting bad service, I would never go out my way and say, oh, like, I'm not, I'm not saying nothing. I don't know. To be honest, if I, it depends how bad it was. Okay. If it was disrespectfully bad, yeah. then fuck that. Like I have to get my, my shit fixed. Mm -hmm. But if it's like a, a little mix up, let's say there's like a hair in the food. I'm yeah, not going to yeah. complain like, oh my God, there's a hair in the food. Can, okay. can you change this? Blah, 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 yeah. blah. Let me talk to my manager. I'm not going to do that shit. Yeah. But if it's something like... I asked for this and they didn't give me this, then I'm gonna say something. You would actually say something? Yeah. Fam, yo, I will never go to a Moxie's ever again. Especially the one Why in, Moxie's? in Why? Richmond Hill. Oh my God. And my cousins are the type to like, actually like, Oh, uh, can you tell me why he did this? Can you can you tell me? I mean, Moxie's is more expensive though. So if, if you're paying for a lot of a yeah. lot of food or a lot of money on food, then yeah, you expect it to yeah. be worth so, it. So taken, we came in right. We got seated right away. Mm -hmm. So after a, a waiter sat us down, he didn't. You know when waiters are supposed to be like, oh, uh, can I get you anything to start? Like waters anything, yeah. fam. He sat us down and went and left. I'm like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. Okay, that happens. He leaves us for an hour. An hour of just sitting, fam. That's quite a long time. And then, and then our, our new waiter comes up to our plate and uh, uh, comes up to our table and is like, oh, can we get you guys started? I'm like, bro, we've been here for a thing. <laughs> we've been started. You know what I mean? So boom, an hour goes by again just mm -hmm. to get our food, fam. So yeah. we've been at the place for at least like maybe two and a half hours at this point. And then right? order nothing. Yes, nothing. And so when food comes out, mm -hmm. bro, Food comes out and everything is wrong. Some guy ordered, my cousin ordered a cheeseburger with bacon and no onions. Was it busy that day? It, wa it wasn't. So it was like, it was like, okay, busy. It wasn't like What did a they rush. bring him out? Fam. So, Mashed potatoes? No. <laughs> what did they no, bring no. him out? So he ordered a, a, a burger with bacon and no onions. Fam, it came with onions and no bacon. 
Fam, fam. So another person. Because of the onion, no burger. <laughs> it comes with the bun and onions inside. Fam, take in. We also we also order uh, dry rub ribs, right? Yeah, yeah. Fam, the, the waiter. It was wet. No. <laughs> It went wrong. Oh, I wish, fam. But she comes out and just like, yo, did anybody order chicken bites? Everyone looking around the table like, nah, right? And then the waiter tells the other waiter, fam, that's dry ribs. How does the waiter doesn't even know what that is? Maybe the yo. waiter was new, bro. Okay. Loud, maybe fam. new. No. Maybe it's the first day on the job, dog. Yeah, it was just all bad. And take in, throughout that whole thing, I still tip 3%. <laughs> 3%? That's it? What the fuck? No, but, but That's not was, even worth the tip, bro. <laughs> no, but it was, this guy complaining, well, I tipped her 3%. 3% is no, nothing. You tipped her 2 cents? No, fam, because I, we were waiting for so long. I said, I need my bill because I, I need to go edit. Like, yeah, God. yeah, yeah. So they got all their meals free. I still tip. I still tip. 3% isn't a tip. Fam, but even the, the service we got wasn't even worth a tip. That's not even a tip. But tip. the fact that I still tipped <laughs> is crazy. That's how that's how crazy like, it was. That's not a tip, fam. It's you not. Have to, you have to tip at least 10 to 12, right? Yeah, but you get what I'm saying, though? Like, the service was so bad, it wasn't even worth a tip. But I True. still tip. Okay, okay. You feel me? Oh, whatever. Like, three yeah. cents is not a tip, fam. No, That's no. all I'm saying. It was bad, though. Speaking of uh, children's books, yeah, I forget what, <laughs> what happened. I forget what a really good diss is. So I, I, was talking to, I was talking to my girl, right? <laughs> and we were talking about how I could read her like a book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You always say shit like that, which pisses people off. Is that bad? If I say, if I say like, I could read like a book, is that bad? Uh, well, it depends. It's like passive aggressive, kind of. I guess so. I said I could read her like Little Critters. You remember? <laughs> oh, yo, Little Critters? Yo, Little Critters. Oh my gosh. You told it. That was the exact statement. <laughs> that, was a, that was the exact line I said. I could read you like Little Critters. Okay, at that point, fam, <laughs> you're looking for an argument. <laughs> yo, you know what Little Critters is? Yes, bro. This shit. This. Nah, you can't tell me every single one of these books was a banger. Yeah, though, no, bro. it was a banger. No misses, fam. That sucks. Kids aren't reading this no more. <laughs> I'm telling you, this shit taught me life lessons. I, th I have a theory. Mm -hmm. The reason I have so many morals or I learn so much and I'm good at storytelling yeah, yeah. is because my mom, every single time before bed, mm. she would read me a storybook. Yeah. But I would like make sure I got a story. And I, I always wanted a new one, a new one, a new one. Facts. So... You know how they say like art, it's always nothing new. It always comes from the past mm -hmm. and you never know where your inspiration is going to come from. Yeah. I feel like some of my inspiration just comes from like storybooks oh, that yeah. I don't even remember. Yeah. You probably pull it back from uh, the nostalgic ages. You know? Yeah. You don't even know. Yeah. Remember the, the milk and cookies one, the rat with the cookies. Fuck, I well, forgot which one. Milk and cookies one. It was like the, the, the rat that always wanted milk and cookies. I don't know if I remember oh, that one. Oh, yo, no. comment down below. But that one always got me hungry for cookies and milk. Yeah. The the darkest one I remember reading was the Caillou one. Caillou? So, yeah. There was this one Caillou book. Yeah. And I think they made it an episode too. Mm -hmm. But Caillou, pretty much, he asks his dad. I think he finds a bird. Yeah. And the bird is like dead in the backyard. And he asks his dad like. No way this Caillou fam. Yeah. This is the first time I remember my dad was reading the storybook and he this is the first time he said now nah, we let's not read this one. Oh shit yeah for real this is why i remember it so much okay because the, the the story really began with caillou finds a dead bird mm -hmm. brings it to his dad and asks his dad why is the bird dead what happens after yeah till still to this day i don't even remember how the story ends i just oh. remember that part of it I never no. Nah, that was like a hidden book, fam. Like you had to unlock something to get that book. No, this is like a this is a dead ass a real Caillou book. I'm pretty sure it's a it's on the show too. Oh yeah? Yeah. But you know the Caillou theory? No. You never heard the Caillou theory? What, that he has um cancer? That too. Uh-huh. That too he has cancer. But Caillou's not real. What do you mean? Caillou's not actually real, fam. He's like he's make believe? So he Caillou died? Caillou, right? Uh -huh. If you watch the show, it's just like paintings. So, Caillou is actually a storybook. It's fucking meta. <laughs> so, Caillou is a storybook that the grandma's reading to other kids. And we're listening to the grandma telling the story. Oh. So, Caillou's not actually real. He's the, he's the story. And we're watching the story of a story. That makes sense because I swear at the end, I don't know if this is true, but at the end, it shows the grandma reading the, yeah. the story, at the right? end, it's like, and then Caillou does this. Oh. But there's other theories too that Caillou did have cancer. That's why he's bald. Mm. 
because it makes sense. Like, why why else is the kid ball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be like the grandma's son, and then those kids are like kids she's taking care of, mm. something like that. Yeah, yeah. But the premise of the story though is like Caillou. He's not even real. He's we're we're just diving into their universe. Yeah, yeah. I it, swear, Josh told this too when um. Uh, the book or the show was mm-hmm. surrounded by like clouds. Yeah, like, it's the like border a dream. Was clouds. It looks like yeah, 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 yeah. But people, yeah, people are saying like he's uh, he's dreaming it or some shit like that. Oh shit! Or they're just remembering. But Caillou's a bitch anyway. Yeah, <laughs> chill, chill. I used to, on Caillou, I man. used to read Caillou. I used to watch Caillou and read like Caillou mind. all the time. Mm-hmm. Like that was my favorite one. And I'm surprised you didn't turn out like Caillou because usually if you read it, like that's what yeah, you, it, you like, grow up as. Theory right now, yeah. they made Caillou to make bad kids. So, but yeah, whiny kids, fam. Yeah, they're That's all, all whiny as shit. <laughs> That's all he did, fam. When he wanted to take a bath, fam, cried. Yeah, did he ever? Did he ever not get his way? No, he didn't. He always got his way. No, it was his way or the highway. I ain't gonna lie. Right? Yeah. So they just made bad kids. There's no lesson involved. Or maybe I didn't watch it properly though, because that's all I remember. Yeah. Is is it Caillou? Was it just bad parenting though, or do you blame Caillou? Because that is technically bad parenting. Look, it is, yeah, <laughs> nah, when I was, when I was lifeguarding kids mm-hmm. and like teaching kids how to swim, yeah. I never blamed it on the kid if they're bad. Okay. It's not the kid's fault they're bad, bro. It's literally the environment. Yeah. Like it's what they're being taught, what is good and what is wrong. Yeah. And it's what they're told right now in the present, yeah. what they can do and what they can't do. So it's just experience and what their environment is. I never blame it on the kid because right. the kid is just like. A blank canvas. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That's that's a good way of thinking it. Cause you you taught Muay Thai too. Did you teach kids? Yeah, I used to teach kids. Did you like, ever? Did they ever get to a point where like you had so much kid and it got like through the roof? You couldn't control it. Oh, you like, mean you, a, you mean troublesome? Yeah, like troubles. Did you have those those moments? Nah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty like freaking. Really? I I stand on. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I so stand now, on my ground, bro. So now put me in that situation, right? Yeah. A person who's not willing to like. Uh, like yell at kids like where mm. I'm like very like uh, like easy going yeah, right yeah, yeah. so taken I was only getting paid twenty dollars a class mm-hmm. twenty cl- for for an hour right that's not terrible it, it, it's not terrible as a kid that's not bad yeah exactly but it was still like I was still in my training days there was no one to shadow at that time so mm-hmm. my my uh, boss says yo I need you to go into the Tuesday class yeah Tuesday classes are the most rowdy it's like a baby it's like a baby care center. Mm. So I get like maybe twenty of these little kids, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as class starts, I know it's like daddy daycare. Yeah, like yeah. everyone's like fucking I, around. I know what's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. So they start running around. No one's listening to me. The parents are giving me the meanest. Mugs. Yeah, they're gonna like, give you shit because you, you can't yeah, control the like, class. Fam, it's on you. These stuff. are your kids that you're bringing here. You have no home care, fam. And like at the end of the day, they were taking their kids away, and they're mm. like, "Oh, you're a shit teacher. You can't teach these kids nothing. You're how are you black belt." I'm like, "Whoa." Now nah, you know what too though because I can I can vouch for this too when yeah. I was a kid fam I would be different with the crew yeah and then instead of by myself mm-hmm. you know what I mean like in front of my mom yeah. in front of my dad I'm an angel yeah, I'm yeah. a good kid word <laughs> like you put me in recess yeah yeah different carlo that that makes sense so I think I think it's like a herd mentality mm-hmm. but that's why that's why kids always do like the worst things when yep nobody's watching them exactly so <laughs> go ahead but at the same time I think that's important for kids to do because that's when they learn the most. What do you mean by, by uh, not following the rules? Not necessarily just not following the rules, but by doing adventures, like adventurous things, mm-hmm. because that's how they learn. I remember my teacher told me this. This is very wise of him. Yeah, yeah. He said he had a son, and before his son was like washing his hands, mm-hmm. and he didn't know like putting hot water would burn his hands. Okay. But he let him go ahead and burn his hands to realize, okay, that's hot water. I can't yeah, do yeah. that. Okay. You know what I mean? Because it's that. only until you learn and then You're you not won't gonna do, do it. it. Yeah. yeah. And then you won't do it again because you learned it. That makes sense. But to assert my dominance to those parents, What'd so we had, so the Wednesday class is our sparring class, right? Yeah. So, so you called the parents a fight? No, 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 no. Oh. I didn't do this. But uh, to all my sparring partners that I fought, yeah. I like, uh, you know how I scream when I kick like, bow, bow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I did crazy, like the crazy spins and I made sure they were watching and the mm. kids were watching. So next time, like they know like fam, this is no type of guy to fuck with. Yeah, true, yeah. true, true. So you, you showed them, you showed yeah, them how, like, how skillful you are. Exactly. So I, like, it's kind of bad too. Cause I beat up on like the kids that really couldn't like thing, but at the same time, <laughs> But at the same time, I wanted to prove a point to them that I wasn't no bitch. You feel that's me? That's me some sacrifice. That's me some, <laughs> that's some, no, for real, 
I swear to God, there has to be some sacrifice for, for some man to listen. <laughs> no real talks, bro. Like some someone has to get it. So <laughs> somebody has to get it. Even in the crew too. Like let's let's say we're we're out hanging out with our boys, right? Mm -hmm. Someone has to get picked on first to realize who can't get picked yeah. on. You know, it has. It just has to. It just facts, has to. Facts, facts. But it sucks. It sucks when you're the the. the dead end of the stick yeah but it builds some character yeah no exactly because it's like um if you're the only one that gets bullied you kind of go home thinking like yo what did i do like uh, why was i the one right exactly so you're gonna come back with exactly. power man exactly. you come back with some ammo exactly like, not not, not little ammo, not little ammo though like that's fuck. this ain't america <laughs> <I mean? laughs> not little ammo a lot fam but that <laughs> ass like most of the time i think that's what makes that's what makes like your homies stronger with you because you build your homies around you yeah if you're always like kind of soft to each other mm -hmm. then we're all play-doh yeah, yeah yeah you know what i mean but the, the more we like chisel each other we look i swear to god uh -huh. when i spar with uh my friends right mm -hmm. we learn so much and we build like such a such a fucking respect for each other mm. because we hit each other hard yep. and we feel each other's like pain yeah. and most of the time it's gonna teach you like okay you see me as this but the moment i hit you that's all you see is dark, yeah, darkness yeah, and yeah. pain. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Dead ass in a fight, all you all you see is usually just darkness and pain if you close yeah. your eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. <laughs> I lie, real shit. And at the end of the day, that's what everybody is. That's what every like challenge is in front of you yeah. is usually like darkness and pain. Exactly. No, but I would rather get fucked up in practice than, you know, in real fights. And like mm -hmm. if you're training with your homie, and you guys are both fucking each other up, yeah. then you know in a street fight, if you ever both get into a street fight, fam, you guys are mm. unbeatable because you guys train. We live in an increasingly automated world, but some things require tedious manual work. Luckily for e-commerce business owners, shipping is no longer a manual task thanks to ShipStation. Save time automating your shipping and returns in the ShipStation dashboard while keeping costs down with industry-leading discounts. Personally, if I could automate every single thing I do, whether it be doing laundries, groceries, or a robot that can even just clean up the dust on my shelves, I would. The ShipStation dashboard is so easy to use and it's easy to manage your orders. I love using the ShipStation dashboard to manage all of my orders and shipping needs. It automates everything so easily and I can focus on other things about the business that don't have to do with shipping. Honestly, it's a quick and easy setup. Plus there's a free trial. So now is the time to try ShipStation if you've been on the fence. ShipStation makes it easy to automate shipping tasks for orders from every marketplace in one dashboard. Effortless, integration everywhere you sell online including amazon etsy ebay shopify and more you can manage every order from one simple dashboard print shipping labels easily compare rates and delivery times to optimize every shipment and automate delivery notifications and with enterprise solutions that make warehouse optimization easy shipstation scales when you do with industry leading discounts you'll never worry about overpaying shipping you guys get up to 84 percent off usps and ups rates and if that's not enough use our promo code to try ShipStation for free for two months. Over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business with ShipStation and 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. So spend more time growing your business when you automate shipping tasks with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code JUMPERS today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S. If your business earns millions or tens of millions of revenue stop what you're doing and take a listen because netsuite by oracle has just rolled out the best offer we've ever seen netsuite gives you the visibility and control you need to make better decisions faster and for the first time in netsuite's 22 years as the number one cloud financial system you can defer payments of a full netsuite implementation for six months that's no payment and no interest for six months and you can take advantage of the special financing offer today netsuite is number one because because they give your business everything you need in real time, all in one place. To reduce manual processes, boost efficiency, build forecasts, and increase productivity across every department. Honestly, the power of having all information in one place makes decision making super easy for my business. And the unprecedented offer NetSuite is providing makes that possible. 33,000 companies have already upgraded to NetSuite, gaining visibility and control over their financials, inventory, HR, 
e-commerce, and more. If you've been sizing NetSuite up to make the switch, then you know this deal is unprecedented, no interest, no payments. So take advantage of this special financing offer at netsuite.com slash jumpers. That's netsuite.com slash jumpers to get the visibility and control you need to weather any storm. netsuite.com slash J-U-M-P-E-R-S. Whether you're searching for the latest sneaker drop, that iconic handbag, a timeless watch, or your next piece of classic jewelry, eBay authenticators are there verifying every detail of your purchase. Yup, we're talking each inch, stitch, tick, facet, and clasp that make the piece you're searching for worthy of your collection. eBay's authenticators are experts in their craft, true connoisseurs, and as leaders in their field, they're making sure your items always arrive as authentic as your style. So go ahead, get that piece you've always wanted, and leave it up to the meticulous eyes of an eBay authenticator to make sure the watch movement is original, that glimmer is real gold, that rare sneaker is legit, or that handbag is really made of genuine leather. And never get faked over again. In a world full of fakes, it's time to get real with ebay authenticity guarantee everyone deserves real visit ebay.com for terms you ever heard the the color theory no <laughs> what's the color theory this this is kind of crazy though okay they say if you don't know the name of a color yeah. that you can't see it that i can't see it now check this out check this out check it, out. it doesn't make sense right yeah yeah it does so pretty much they did a test and they they got like a bunch of different colors of blue Okay. A bunch of different shades of blue and then one green one. Sorry, there was a bunch of shades of green and then one blue one, Okay, right? And they brought this color palette to these, I think they're like tribalists somewhere in, in the Amazon, mm. but they pretty much wanted to test them and see because in their language, they have no word for blue. Oh. They only have words for green. Yeah, yeah. So they had one blue one. And a bunch of green. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. That's what it looks like. It's actually kind of mind blowing. Okay, let me see. So it was just like this. Mm -hmm. So it was a bunch of green and then one blue. Okay. Now, when they showed it to the natives, mm -hmm. they were so confused. They took like hours, literally hours, to decipher like which one is is the blue one. But look From at the it. The green. Yeah, but is it not obvious? Yeah. It's obvious to us because we know the name blue and the name green. Okay. Now, what's crazier is. They did one with a bunch of different shades of green. Oh, that, that one fucked them up. Yeah. For sure. No, no, no. Check this that out. That one fucked them No, up. the opposite. So they were able to point that out in seconds. Oh, because it's a uh, variant of a green? Of, so in their language, they have multiple words for the shades of green <laughs> because that's all they see in the wilderness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, hear me out, right? If, if we point outside and look at some concrete and some like asphalt, Mm -hmm. We'll say, what color is that? What's, what color? Gray. Gray. You know how many different shades of gray there are in that? Yeah, yeah. Now, what if the other shades, they have real names? Oh, you, okay. In your head, all you're going to see is, oh, it's that's gray. just gray. gray. Yeah, but yeah. in another language or somebody that gave names to each one, oh, that's gray two, four, five, whatever. They would know exact name. If you know the name of the color, uh -huh. then you can see it. But if you don't know the name, then you can't see it at all because it just blurs. Like for example, shades of brown. Mm. Like we now we can we can decipher. If you learned like there's taupe, there's cream, there's yeah, yeah, yeah. there's coffee. Like there's a way to dif differentiate the browns. Mm -hmm. But as a whole, you just say, oh, that's brown. Gray. But we we can still see it. No, even though that's a gray or no. Maybe we can't. We don't see it as vibrantly. So what if? Oh, so what just, if the moment oh. that we give names to every single shade? Yeah, like this might not be silver. It's it, like, it's like a bunch of different silvers. Yo, oh, I get it. Get, I get that? It, I get it. I get it. So it's only until we give names to it, mm. then we can say, "Oh shit, I see the other ones." Because as a whole, if you see like, if I just show you a big canvas yeah, and it's yeah. it's covered with shades of brown, you say, "Oh, that's brown." Mm. Nah, that's coffee, that's tan, that's blah, 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 that's <laughs> That's this. gonna make men overthink, bro. <laughs> no, but it, it's so, cause it's realistic. Like you can you can see color, but you don't know, like you don't you know, know the color it, until it, yeah, you, yeah. you can name it. No, because you know the, the Bob Ross, I've been watching lots of Bob Ross ASMRs. Yeah. And he's always like, this titanic white fam that's just white <laughs> like what if what if like mans can't see that titanic white but it like everyone just describes it as white yeah you know what i'm saying so what if you never learn the names of colors also yeah i think i think it's in history like the color blue because in the natives they didn't even know the name of blue right yeah, yeah in history the color blue it was never written down 
for a long, long time. I think it was only until so like who invented that? The eighteen hundred. I believe it's until like the eighteen or seventeen hundreds. Like they found out. Let's call it blue. Yeah. So everything they're writing was described as something else. Oh, it's like they just described it as oh that's water or that's blah 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 that's oh, sky. Like sky. Okay. But if you think about it, why blue? Because blue is everywhere. No, it's like almost the most prominent color. Yeah. But maybe because it's the most prominent, they had different names for the things. So instead of calling it blue, you say oh that's sky. That's mm -hmm. water. Right. Then who who coined the term blue? Then I don't know. And it's a mystery still. Yeah. Like who who coined the name name? Yeah, like I always, I, yeah, no, I always thought that, like, like, um, say, like, who, who was the first to see color, like, yeah. what, what made this, this, like, that person say, no, oh, this is black. You know what I'm saying? You, you want, you want me to blow your mind right now? <laughs> how did they decide what time it was? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how. No, that ass, like, how did they decide, like, okay, boom, today is this. Mm -hmm. We start at twelve today. What's twelve? I mean, they, they, the sun, but like, who, but who started who, that shit, bro? Yeah, who started the dates? Who said it was ja who said it was January second? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Fam. Like how did that start? Like I don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. It, it's, it, it's just too far away. It's, God, it's too it's far God. away. Let's just say it's God, because God is always the answer. Yeah, yeah, but like look, if you think about it too, I swear to God, like let's say let's say all of all of the world has has an apocalypse, right? Mm -hmm. Like let's say a nuclear strike, whatever, knock on wood. Yeah. But a nuclear strike, whatever. <clears throat> if you try and rebuild a computer, fam, how how, how do you make a microchip? <laughs> Yeah, it's actually raps. No, real talks. How do you go from from gravel, rocks, and dirt, and then make mm. microchips, and then make something like this? Yeah. How long would it take us? I don't even know. Could no, we sometimes, even do it? Nah. Sometimes I'd be on the road and be like, yo, cars are actually a really like... um, like There's so much different things. Yeah, very so intricate. Much, very intricate like a uh, design. I'm like, yo, we actually came this far. But that this that's... We thought we were going to have um flying saucers by at this point, mm. but we only have cars. But imagine in the next, you know... 30 years like what do we have next so it's all only gonna get intricate unless something stops it i have a theory mm -hmm. because you know how we're getting that uh the apple vr thing right oh yeah, yeah the apple headset yeah yeah so i have a theory that that is gonna be able to read us on our interests just like how tiktok does so you know oh. how on tiktok when you swipe and then like things it picks up on an algorithm on things that you like right yeah yeah now, remember those videos that people used to do on YouTube and it tracks your eye where you're watching things? Oh yeah, yeah. they still do that, they still do that. Yeah, they, so they still do that. Now, imagine millions of people wearing the Apple headset. Mm. They're gonna be able to track exactly where our eyes land on the video. Oh shit. Now, what if they can create content, AI can predict content mm. and pretty much make you the perfect movie or perfect piece of content live real time by just uh figuring out like patterns yeah figuring out patterns on where your attention is oh. because all you really need is an is attention to keep yeah. your attention that so what sense. if that is dead ass the doom of all of our attention spans like it will actually kill our attention spans and we will be so brainwashed we can't even take it off because it, it knows exactly like yeah biologically how our eyes would love to stay on because mm, no. it is addicting to stay on have you ever had those ones when you're like you you know you have to go to sleep, but it's like, uh, like one more video. Yeah, like, exactly. Uh, That's gonna I be have those all the time. It's gonna be even worse if it, it's able to track exactly how your eye moves, like the oh, little the little like eye movements. So it's, like this. it's basically just becoming our brain, right? Because it's going into it and seeing what it likes. Damn it! Yeah, it's point. pretty much it's. So, for example, hair. Mm -hmm. It's on your head, right? Yeah. If you put a headset on, it's pretty much yeah. part of your head, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you would oh, still yeah. say this is Carlos, right? Mm -hmm. So if you wear something on your head that often, eventually the hat would feel like you. Yeah, yeah. Right? I like. Is that bro. fuck, bro? Yeah, that is weird, man. Because you know how like those hippies they wear certain clothes and they're like, yo, it this becomes just, it becomes them. It becomes them. <laughs> I swear to God, if you wear something too long, it's gonna end up becoming like you, and it's gonna uh -huh. like our, my phone is pretty much me. Like yeah. my phone has more personality of myself. Than me writing on a piece of paper no. because it's been with me that long. Oh, actually, actually, How much yeah, data is on there, bro? There's yeah. probably my phone knows more about me than my sister. Mm. My phone knows more about me than my my parents. That's fucking scary. Isn't that scary? You, you know they announced they announced um, uh, I think it was like uh in the coming years there's gonna be a whole outage of the internet. I, I don't heard know about if, that. I, heard I don't about know that. if that's real or not because obviously it's on Six Buzz. Yeah. But imagine say, say hypothetical that happens, mm -hmm. fam. I feel like that. 
is going to solve it's not a bad thing but it's going to solve like this generation. It's a good refresher. Yeah, like like it'll like refresher. how COVID was like a, a big pause. Yeah. But we had our technology. This mm. one is gonna be like you guys have the free world, but no technology. Mm. I feel like that would be a great reset. Though. I think it would be a good you reset. Know? But for the first two months, like people will go crazy. But the, there's problems with that, mm -hmm. right? Because people obviously have money online yeah, to make their oh, money online. Yeah. Like, yeah. Who's gonna be watching Jump for Jump? Oh fuck! If you think about it, oh if everybody, right. yeah. If there's no internet. You get me, yo. So the so it would it, the, what it end up happening would be like we would have to sit on a stage and actually do yeah. this. Yeah, no, that's sicker though. But the trappers mm -hmm. will finally be bigger than the scammers, all because <laughs> you can move to, you can move work, but online, oh, shut down. The but I think if they do, let's say they do shut off the internet. Yeah, yeah. We're so advanced now. Someone's gonna figure out how to make a new one. No, no, but it's like complete. No, say just hypothetical. Like no one can figure out. Like it's a it's. Oh, like it's, it's like it's it's, it's wrapped. Gone. Yeah, it's gone. You mean all technology's gone? Yeah, all technology. You can't pick up your phone no more, and like, there's no internet. You only have like the apps, your photos, and so you know the loaded Instagram. Damn, That's bro. all you have. Damn, that would be like, yo, you guys want to link up now? Okay, meet at the tree. Yo, we need <laughs> that. We need that back, meet fam. At the tree. We need that back. I'm I'm really curious. You you know how you know how you can see like archetypes of people. What do you mean archetypes? Like, no, like, like a barber Filipino? Like, no, like, kind of, kind of. Okay. You know, like you can say, oh, that's a Valorant man. Or that's oh, like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm really curious if there is one of those that TikTok has and then they don't say it. Because you know on Chick-fil-A? Check this out, bro. I what just realized it? this today. I didn't know this. Uh -huh. But at Chick-fil-A, when you order, they actually put your description of what you look like. Did you know that? What? Yeah. Man. No. I didn't notice no, until so yesterday. Cap. That's so yeah. Cap. So you know how you give your name? Yeah. So on the receipt, they'll put your name. So I got my order from Chick-fil-A and I sat down. I looked at the receipt. It said, Carlos, black sweatshirt. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? They do that? Yeah, they do that. I didn't know they do that. Whoa, wait. Yeah, which is very smart. Well, I think, though, how do you think it's smart, though? Because uh, me, I think that's like, um, you know how service, like, sometimes the, uh, the McDonald's people, so the Carlos! Yeah. <laughs> just randomly. No, because there could be more than one Carlos, you Exactly, know? but maybe this one, they don't have to scream their name. It comes out of a softer tone. It's like, Carlos, oh, I know exactly which one, so I don't have to, like, there's no mix-up. Yeah, Is yeah. Is that why? That's why. It's smart. But I didn't oh. know they do that. But the point I was getting to, sorry, <laughs> yeah. was... um. I wonder if TikTok, because they have so much information, mm -hmm. if they actually narrow us down to this is what a hype beast is. And you can just type in like an archetype of a person and yeah. will pop up exactly those many people. Because oh. it, it's that much information, right? No, but it is kind of like that because it's not us. It's not us described like physically, but it's the shit that we wear describes it as the hype beast. You know what I'm saying? No, but even just the archetype, like w when I say that, I mean... Your, your is, interest, right? Yeah, Let's yeah. say you have an interest in, in soccer. Mm -hmm. You're considered like a soccer fan. Yeah. That would probably be in your code of soccer people. Oh, you know? You so get, what would your code be? I guess like conspiracy. I don't know. Conspiracy? <laughs> I was like, hashtag worried. Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Asian lover. Asian. <laughs> yeah. Loves Asian thirst. Chill, chill, chill. Play, play, play. Chill. <laughs> Okay, yo, yo, since we're, we've been talking about movies before, <laughs> yeah. yo, so did you know that there's a theory that Rapunzel, mm. uh, Frozen, and Ariel are all connected? Did you know that? I think, I think I'm what I heard something and, about and that, the, yeah. the, the, the director confirmed it. Oh, word. Yeah, yeah. so do you, you know how, um, uh, I think it was Elsa's mom and dad, right? Yeah, they died in the shipwreck. They, they yeah. died because they were going to uh, Germany, which was uh, Rapunzel and um, her husband's oh. marriage, right? And, oh, it was Flynn's, Flynn's marriage, right? Yeah. So take in, uh, in Anna and Elsa's, um, when they were about to crown Elsa for the queen, mm -hmm. there was a scene where they panned and it was Rapunzel oh, I saw that, yeah. and Flynn. Yeah, so, they, they were at the wedding. They yeah, attended exactly. the wedding. So it, it was connected. Mm -hmm. So since Anna and Elsa Frozen is based in Norway and uh, Rapunzel is ba based in Germany, their ship has to go through Denmark. Yeah. Right? So Denmark is where Ariel is, is uh, shot. So that wait, 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 why, why Denmark? I thought, are you sure? Yeah, it, it's Denmark. They're like that's where it's located. Ariel's like the the sea was located. Oh, right? really? Yeah, and this was crazy. Yeah, Ariel's first scene. Yeah, it pans. There's a shipwreck. Where, what do you think that is? That's Anna and Elsa's mom's same ship that that crashed oh, there. Oh shit! Yeah, 
I can debunk that though. You debunked it, how? Because wasn't Sebastian a Rasta man? Was he not Jamaican, bro? What? Sebastian was Jamaican. No, he wasn't. What are you talking about? So Sebastian- Kiss the girl. Oh. What are you talking about? Sebastian's Jamaican fam. This has no. to be, that has to be in the Caribbean, no? The Caribbean? It has to be. Maybe it might. I don't know. Maybe it is debunked. But how, but how did the director confirm it though? I don't know. He probably said that after the fact. Yeah. <laughs> no, but if you watch the, the, the new Little Mermaid, uh -huh. I really liked it, by the way. That was, yeah, that yeah. was a good one. <laughs> but it's, they're all like Caribbean, no? Yeah, yeah. At least I think so. Because oh, it's tropical. Okay, so maybe- Denmark's not tropical. I swear that shit's cold. Oh, then maybe it did prove another theory. Why? That Tarzan was actually Anna and Elsa's lost brother. Because yeah, Tarzan. Because Tarzan's- uh, Because that's like a-, a yeah, yeah they, they they say they say like um the Anna and Elsa's parents were on the ship. Yeah, and she was pregnant. Yeah, and then what happened was the ship crashed, and right? They ended up in the forest. They ended up in the jungle, uh -huh. and then they survived, but they're still royalty. That's exactly. why he's considered like a, a king. Exactly, and you put two and you put uh their both their parents to, in the same like uh to compare. Yeah, and they look the same. Is it one lineage then? Maybe it might be. Yo, what if it goes all the way back to the original Disney film of uh King Arthur? Oh, Loki. Yeah, and then they're all like descendants the of King whole, Arthur. Yeah, the whole thing lines up. Maybe it's like that's their, uh, what, you know, like how a Disney bloodline. Has a, yeah, Pixel has a no. Pixar has like a whole community. Yeah, that's theirs. Yeah, that's it's a bloodline. No, oh shit. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the bloodline. No, because um, <clears throat> what's it called? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Belle. Yeah, is related to Tarzan's wife what? in Tarzan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh. I said I said this before on on my on my. Uh, one off like shorts channel, uh -huh. but pretty much um, there's a scene in Tarzan mm -hmm. where all the all the monkeys are playing the drums and stuff. Yeah, yeah. They're hitting like pots and pans, and then you can see there's a tea set, oh. and the tea set is exactly uh, Miss Potts and the the kids. Yeah, yeah. And those pots and Miss Potts, blah blah blah, they're part of Belle because mm. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. So that lady. I, f I forgot what her name was. She's she's wearing yellow. Yeah, yeah. Literally a, a lady with brown hair wearing yellow. Mm -hmm. It's probably Belle's ancestor or some shit. Damn, and that connects back to the Hunchback of Notre Dame and shit mm -hmm. like. And then and then it connects to like Encanto <laughs> somehow. Know, Encanto. Man, like they got mixed up with the Latinos <laughs> and shit, you know. So somebody somebody had somebody. yellow fever and then and then dated Mulan, you know. The <laughs> same. Probably, uh, I think I personally think that because I I think every single almost. Brand is starting to do a multiverse shit, mm. right? They're all they're all milking out the multiverse. Yeah. First off, they did it with Spider Man, yeah. Spider Man live action. Mm -hmm. Then they did it with Spider Man um, Into the Spider Verse, which is all about multiverse. Yeah. Rick and Morty did it. Um, the Flash mm -hmm. with Batman. They're having all the different Batmans in there, yeah. and then they do they're doing it with uh they did it with Scream. Mm. I don't know if you know about that, and they're doing it with um, fuck. There's another there's another series. But I guarantee you, every single series that comes out, yeah. that's gonna be their big money pull. Oh, Avengers. Mm. It's pretty much multi, you know? Yeah. They're all gonna do the same thing just so they can pull money out of old films that were hits. Yeah. So you can go back to like Back to the Future and then pull some hits from there. Cause if you really bag it, like there's not any movies now where it comes like, oh, they, they try and push out a new like um, a superhero, mm -hmm. but like it kind of like doesn't hit as the old ones, you know. And like it, they try to start a new uh, multiverse or like a team, mm -hmm. but it never goes the same. Because the way they pushed out Ant Man, like they wanted to bring in Ant Man crazy. It was the first one I loved Ant Man two. Yeah. I mean Ant Man number one, but two was kind of ass. You know, it's like yeah. they never have the same run. Theory? Do you yeah. think the only great content ever yeah. has to be redone? Think about it. No, I no, don't no, think no. So, fam. It has to be brought back because it was that good. But that's kind of lame, though. I feel like it's if you bring so it, it back, ruins it. Yeah, like how they they're doing the shit right now. It's like nothing interests me. No, but if if you really take it in, like yeah. for them to th to think of it in that way, that to bring it back, they have yeah. to think of it highly enough. Yeah, you know, for example, Spider Man. That's already, it's no matter. It's Nike. Like they're gonna sell shit. Okay, but look, Matrix. They tried to bring it back. 
We went to that thing. You left five minutes. I no, but you would still say Matrix is a classic, though. It is a classic, but it, that movie. I'm not was saying so I'm ass. not saying that movie was good, but I'm yeah. saying the original was that good. Yeah, I know the original was that good that they had an idea. Oh, let's let's revamp it mm -hmm. because it's it's solidified. So yeah. you think the greatest things ever they want to bring back? No. So if they didn't want to bring it back, maybe it's not the greatest thing ever. Okay, maybe in that sense, but I'm saying like, yo, people should just start their like new plot lines, new start off everything. I agree bro. too. You know, I agree too. But that means it's solidified in history. Mm. Romeo and Juliet, that yeah. story is thousands of years old. No, mm -hmm. maybe not thousands, but like you know, what I mean, like it's mad old. Still, yeah, it's yeah, mad yeah, old. It's <laughs> but for them to bring it back, mm. that means it was that good of a story that they redid it. Hamlet is is freaking Lion King. Yeah. Right. I mean, we still do read those books to like in, in exactly, school, so. exactly. So, what if the greatest stories ever told, they're not great until they've been retold again to prove that they've been great? Mm. I don't know. That's just my take on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But usually, the the revamps are, are shit. Yeah, no, I, I'm telling you, like all the revamps that I've watched, mm -hmm. I can't even sit in that movie, bro. And especially movies that are more than. Uh, maybe two hours long. I don't know why they make that shit like that, bro. Oh, and now the trend is yeah. making video games movies. So oh, I'm, yeah. So, and, like, the What's the recent one? They made a Gran Turismo. Yeah, Gran Turismo. They made that into a I was like, yo, too. that deserves to be a movie, but at the same time, it's like kind of nostalgic. So mm -hmm. it's all money pulls at the, at the end it's of the day. It's all money Mar pulls, Mario bro. was definitely a big Mario uh, m money pull. Real talk, we like, didn't really need a Mario movie. Yeah, yeah. It was like Drake with 2C Slide. Everyone re remembers that song, but we all knew it that was just a money grab. That was for the quarantine, you know, go dance on TikTok. That was it. That Damn, was that's so true, bro. <laughs> Do you think we're gonna we're gonna reach a, a point in culture where we know right away it's a money grab and you don't want to even look at it? Oh yeah. Or is it too much of like a? Especially with the uh, the kids that judge so much nowadays, and like how when albums come out. Oh, first, their first sense is, oh, this is ass, mm. right? They're going to um, automatically, I think we have a good sense of things like, oh, yeah, you're doing this for money. You I know? feel like no matter what, mans are just going to follow what they're told to do. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know? Mm -hmm. it's, it's almost like, it, re it really feels like a matrix, dog. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> Yo. Sometimes it really feels like a matrix. Like, people Yo, are, are just going to do what they're told to do. It's whack. Yeah, I have this funny story, too. This happened, like, a, a weekend ago when I was coming home. Mm -hmm. So, it was, like, 2 a.m., right? Yo, blur out the name, but Sharuk yeah. was right beside me at a stoplight. Yeah. No cars on the road, right? Mm -hmm. So, he does one of those ones where it's, like, yellow or, or like, um, it's red, but it's going to turn green, right? Yeah. So... <clears throat> He, he decides, he's like, yo, fuck that shit. He starts inching up, like, re like inching, inching. You see him on the road. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, right yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm right beside him. So he's blasting music, he's inching. So pretend this is the, the line where you can't cross. Mm -hmm. He goes like this. Okay, Slowly, okay, okay. Right? No patience. The, no patience. <laughs> the light is still red and he's in the middle of the road. Oh my God, bro. So remember when I tell you there's no cars on the road? Yeah. I see one car on the road coming slowly. I'm like, wait, is that a white car? Fam, at the, he, at when the, the police car rolls up, oh. he's, he's at the end of the light already. It's a police car. Yeah, it's a police car that comes. Oh, shit. So when he's at the end of the road, he's uh, the police car is like right beside him now. Yeah. So I see him. He like throws up his hands. <laughs> so the light turns green. The, the the police car turns the lights on. Oh shit! Wait, does he does he drive off? No, he does. He pulls over oh, to the side. Oh, so But fam, you could like I don't know why, but he was just <laughs> you could have just ran it, fam. Damn. But yeah, bro. Nah, fam. I feel I feel like dude, life is too weird, bro. It's like too weird and uh, there's that too was, much like NPC shit. Like too many. Too many stories that you don't think would happen, but actually happened. Yeah, yeah. Like, fam, I'm telling you, there were, there was um there was like times where I was like, that's so per when I literally dro drove off and I was laughing because mm. I was like, that was too perfect, fam. Yeah, <laughs> that was a simulation. Have you ever pulled a, a NPC move and then realized, oh shit, am I a bot? <laughs> no, <laughs> never done that. Am I a bot? Like what? <laughs> I not, I I never had that moment. Mm, let me think. <gasps> but I you ever did something moments. like, what the fuck am I doing? I probably did have those moments. <laughs> oh, obvious. The, the obvious one is like when you type Google into Google. I've done that a thousand oh, times. But that's just like a thing. Yeah. That's just like we all do. Yeah, yeah. Or catching yourself go like this, the Asian dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Bro, it's in our blood to like. Uh huh. Why is that though? I don't even know. 
I don't even know. Long, because long, long time ago, mm. our Asian ancestors, they always had stuff on their back. They're carrying the swords and shit. <laughs> so they had to carry it like this. Yeah. Shut up. This guy's <laughs> making this shit up now. It's true. Okay. Probably. <laughs> okay, but, si- but since we're, um, I talked about the Alex- Alexi Treviso case, remember last time? Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember I found, that. I found another one that's super similar to it. Mm-hmm. So taken, this was also this year, I think, or I think it was in 2022. Let me get the name right. Okay, so her name was Alexis Avila, right? Yeah. So taken in 2022, oh no, in 2020, there was three dumpster divers mm-hmm. that randomly went to like a, a local dumpster to try and find like stuff that they can like eat or like maybe treasures stuff, and shit. Yeah, that stuff that they can wear, right? Yeah. So while they were they were searching for um, uh, clothes, they found a bag and they heard like a little whimper, like a oh, like, like a cry, and they were like. Yo, what's in this bag, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously they thought it was like a, a like little, a dog, like a little pet. Yeah, like yeah. a little pet. So obviously they cautiously they, they took it out, they laid it, and then they cut open like slowly, just mm-hmm. in case it jumped out at them, right? But then they found in the bag was a little baby boy oh, with fuck. with the umbilical cord no. still attached to the baby, right? Wait, where was this? This is um, like in, behind a. A retail yeah, store? No, no, I think it was by, behind some... It was just know. a dumpster. Yeah, bro. it was a dumpster. It was a local it's dumpster. Not, it's not a hospital, though. No, it wasn't a hospital. So taking a, a lady that was also around the area, yeah. she grabs the baby, she calls 911. Obviously, mm-hmm. later, like maybe maybe like in five hours, they found who the person was, and it was Alexis, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is what pisses me off, because you know how in the Alexis Treviso case, she all ref- always referred to her baby as it? Oh, she did the same thing. She was like, the police were questioning her. She was like, what did you do with the baby? We need to know. She was like, uh, it was it. It was crying. I wrapped it in a towel. Mm. And this is what made me mad. Yeah, she yeah. was like, she was like, oh, if the baby's OK, I still want it, bro. Damn. Come on, gang. Like, what are you doing? Like Damn, shit like bro. that really makes me like a uh, question like human. Like there's humans on this world, earth that do shit like that, like. Fucked up shit like that. Yeah, but I feel like you know what I I truly believe. Yeah. I truly believe God put people like that on this world for us to learn about. Really? You know what I mean, for us to 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 be grateful about what you have and the situations you're in, because there's some crazy shit that's happening. Yeah, and it doesn't necessarily involve you, mm. right? So that being the case, you are a human just like them. Yeah, and everybody makes mistakes. They've made terrible mistakes. Mm. But maybe yours and are as bad as theirs. And you can realize you're still blessed at the end of the day. Yeah. Like fam, a lot of the times we feel like we're going through some serious shit. Mm. The more you open your eyes to everybody else's life and realize not everything is exactly about you. Yeah. You'll see like how much you do have, how much like you're calm. Mm. Like you're everything you have right now, you're perfect. Yeah, yeah. And I forgot who said this, but there was there's a clip. This guy he was on Joe Rogan. I forgot his name though. Mm-hmm. He did the Midnight Gospel. You ever heard of that? Oh, I think, yeah. Yeah. But he he came up with this. It's kind of like a philosophy. Mm. But just imagine that everything in your life, like right now, Mm. the mistakes you've made, exactly how you're sitting, the way you breathe, Mm. it's all perfect. Like you're exactly meant to be that way right now. You're you're perfect. There's nothing. You made a mistake. You're supposed to make those mistakes right now. You're perfect on this timeline. Like you're supposed to be exactly like this. Mm -hmm. And it got me thinking like, holy shit, just like in the Spider-Verse movie, there's certain things that happen and it fucks up in the timeline and it's like, oh man, we got to change it. But the 2099 Spider-Man goes, nah, that's a canon event. (laughs) Like oh that, yeah, that that's been going around on TikTok. Yeah, that's a canon event. Like mm-hmm. that that was supposed to happen to you. Yeah. And that's what happened to each one of us. Mm. So if you take that concept of life, like yeah. there's certain things that for example, one of them was uh Uncle Ben or their guardian dying. Mm. There would be no Spider Man if if nobody died. Yeah, yeah. There yeah. has to be tragedy before lesson. And a lot of the time, there has to be pain before lesson. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you may feel a heartbreak, and you may feel like, that holy is shit, yeah. this girl broke my heart, and then now I became like this. You're supposed to feel that so that yeah. you can feel you can feel what it feels like on the other side, and you can be better if you choose to be better. Mm-hmm. What do you think was your uh, your biggest canon event? My biggest canon event? Yeah, because I've, I've been going, I've been seeing funny ones on TikTok. It was like, when, uh, uh, hold on, hold on, when the... 
when the freshly uh, when the fresh girl out of a relationship finally gets with a with a player and says, "Oh, this is the best she's been ever feeling." It's like that's a candidate event. I can't interfere. Like she has to go through the player. Oh, you know, shit. Stuff no, like that's that. true. Because it's it's stuff like that. Like I said this before on my uh, on my on my other podcast. Yeah, yeah. But you kind of have to like do your thing. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> You know, you know what? Like host has to host has to be host first if they yeah. want to. Yo, you know what the my biggest canon event was, and Ryan Kuda told me this. What he's like, your biggest canon event was when Carlo showed you a Supreme Box logo. Word, because you know why? Because that it was a chain reaction for me. Oh, go searching into fashion. Yeah. What's my my personality right now? I like dressing up. I like fashion. Mm-hmm. Fam, if you didn't show me that, I feel like I would have been into a, like you know. Damn. That's good. that's my biggest canon event for sure. I think my biggest okay, I, I have it. Okay, my okay. biggest canon event uh-huh. was when um was when I was playing with my toys and I was talking to myself. Yeah, and then my cousin comes over to me. She's old and like, why are you talking to yourself? <laughs> why are you talking to yourself like that? Yeah, yeah, you know you're weird, right? Blah blah. <laughs> you're weird. Like, and then in that exact moment, I had a choice in myself. You know what okay. I mean? I did. I had a choice in myself. I could be like, yeah, you're right, or I could be like. Now nah, whatever, I'm having fun. Mm. Depending on what I chose that day yeah. is exactly how I turn out. Uh-huh. Maybe I didn't have a podcast. Maybe I didn't speak my mind as much. Maybe I didn't have those thoughts in my head anymore because I thought it was weird and somebody told me it was weird to mm. be like that. Yeah. Because a lot of times there's somebody in your life that goes like, nah, you're not supposed to do it. You, you, you don't really, you're not like that. Yeah, That's yeah. not you. Mm-hmm. But only you know who you are. Yeah, yeah. I know, man. Only you really know who you are. Like, nobody else can really tell you, fam. Like, there's probably stuff in my head that I never told anybody in my life. And everybody's like that. Like, everybody has their own secrets that they never said. There's so many words in your mind that have not been spoken, but have been spoken to you. Mm -hmm. So they don't know what the fuck you are, you know? They only know a piece of it. Yeah. Because imagine how many conversations you have in a day Mm -hmm. to yourself, let alone to other people. So all of those words combined... Is like your whole vocabulary, your whole like, almost like a storyline. Mm-hmm. Nobody's heard that story except for you. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. I, I saw this quote too. It was like, sometimes it's it's better to quit. Like, you know how quitting is like, um, it's perceived to being bad. Like, mm-hmm. if you quit, you're, you're, a, you're a bad person, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I seen the quote. It's like, sometimes when you know when to quit, that's a really great thing. Because like, that, that's been happening my whole life. Like, uh, in basketball, yeah. if I didn't quit and I kept pursuing basketball... Obviously, I'm like five, I'm five ten, no, nowhere to go at. You know, I, I didn't enjoy the sport no more. It wasn't mm. giving me no happiness. Mm. If I kept going that, fam, I would have been sad playing every day. Really? But I, but I quit that, and look what happened. It pushed mm. me into Taekwondo. Look, Taekwondo has changed my life. It's like another canon event. It's, it's like, canon. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. if I didn't do that, then I wouldn't, wouldn't have been led to that. this, you know? Mm. So, like, shit, like, uh, another person was like, um... Oh, the, my friend was like, "Oh, I don't know if I ha- I have to quit my program because it's hard." But I'm like, at the same time, if it's too if it's really hard for you, I don't blame you if you you struck if you struck it out, fam, quit because maybe it might send you to another something that makes you more happy. Yeah. And I know a lot of stories where all my friends have transferred into another program and they're, they're happy. happy, fam. Mm-hmm. But and and I think the fun part about that is, yeah. it's uncertain, so there is still a chance of failure. Yeah, but. And I think it's only fun when there is failure. Yeah, exactly. You exactly. get me? Yeah, yeah. That's so crazy to say, mm-hmm. but it's it's only fun when there is a chance of failure. Yeah, yeah. Because if it was only a W, if it was only like, you know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, I pick up my phone. I know I'm going to pick up my phone. If yeah. I drop it, it drops. Mm-hmm. Boring. Like, we know that shit. <laughs> we know that shit. If I pick up my phone and it transports mm-hmm. into 1992 and it stops Tupac from dying, that's a different story. Mm-hmm. That shit's the unpredictable. But you don't know the unpredictable and that's what makes it fun. Yeah. And I think that's why we watch these movies because we don't know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. The only movies that are boring to me are the ones, like, I can kind of predict. Yeah, yeah. Now that makes sense. And taken before... My first job that I, I mean, my first uh, like career that I wanted to get into mm-hmm. before I signed up to any university, I said I was going to be the the Raptors physical therapist yeah. or like therapist for athletes because I'm also an athlete. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to love that shit. But then all my cousins and the, their parents were like, oh yeah, I know people in physical therapy, but they don't make a lot of money. So that was kind of like your toy thing where it's like they told me something. Oh, and it's I said, up to you to decide. And yeah. I said, I said, 
All right, fuck that. If it doesn't make any money, then I'm not going to go into it. Mm. But I promise you, I had a feeling if I went to into physical therapy, I would be fucking millionaire. Mm. You feel me? Yeah. Because because I, I can relate to an athlete, so I was like, okay, I have it. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I think my whole life changed in like 2019. 2019. I, I think I, I feel like 2018, 2018, 2019, like everything started changing for me. Really? 2018, 2019. No, I think I think as soon as um. 20 when the podcast blew up that's when my life started to change really yeah. yeah because at that point it was um uh if if i was say like failing a few class uh, fa- failing like classes yeah and i didn't have and this and i had no job no nothing mm-hmm. oh yeah i'm in trouble fam but since like my parents seen success it's like oh they kind of gave me like you know so would you be scared right now if you were having trouble like in school and no. you didn't have anything no because i know that i can i can graduate whenever i want to no no i mean i mean no, I'm talking about like if you didn't have the podcast, if you don't oh, have that's what I'm saying right now. hundred like, percent. Another Gavin would be like worried on what he's doing right now. Yeah, fam. They would probably be sleeping at night wondering like what is this kid gonna do with his life? Mm. You feel me? Yeah. Shit. Cause like, you know, Filipino parents is all about stability. If you don't have something stable at that moment, oh yeah, we're worried. You know? Yeah. It kind of sucks because at the end of the day, like everybody wants stable stability, blah yeah. blah. But yo, as long as you're alive and you're breathing, fam, like that's all. Yeah, that matters, that's all that bro. matters. That's all that though. matters, man. Like, it's enjoy, fam. Because a lot of the time, look, I said this literally last last podcast, but mm-hmm. we we want to trade our health and then to get rich, yeah. and yeah, you get rich, and what do you do with it? Like, you're gonna trade it back for better health. Yeah, like it's just a constant cycle to keep us running, fam. Mm-hmm. And it's only until like you realize it, then you start to make a difference, like the right difference. Yeah. The the first step, I think, the first step. Oh, bro, mm-hmm. see you right now. You know how Andrew Tate is on his like wave of like, oh, I'm breaking people out of the matrix, this and that. Yeah, yeah. He's breaking people out, but there's more steps to it of, yeah, go grind, go chase money. Mm. That's the first part. Yeah. Now when you have the money, what do you want to do? What's your purpose? Mm. And then after your purpose, like, how do you continue believing in that purpose? Like, there's so many. It's like, you learn this, boom, I'm here. And then now that you're here, there's all these other variants or all yeah, these other like yeah. problems you didn't think about because you're even close to that. Mm-hmm. You know, like I didn't think about taxes when I was in oh, high school, yeah, for sure. For example, but the, but the money definitely like it brings a certain freedom, you know, to people. Cause you know how Dave says, uh, uh, there's three P's pussy power and, and paper. Yeah. But if you get the last one, then the first, then the, the first two come easy or some shit like that. Mm. But I was like, that's facts, bro. If you have, if you have, Money, then the power and pussy comes too. You feel me? <laughs> you know, I, there's this there's this guy that he used to. I think he's called like the Tinder. I forgot what they call him, but he would just go on Tinder dates. He's homeless. Oh what? He's homeless and he would survive living through Tinder dates. Oh, like he word. would eat Tinder dates food. He so would, he would sleep this is over. A guy? Yeah, this is a guy. Whoa. He would sleep over at wherever his date was. Yeah, yeah. He would. He would actually like survive off dates on Tinder because mm-hmm. he's a good looking guy. Yeah. But he's homeless. He doesn't have nowhere to stay. Oh, shit. Just survive off of dating, dating, dating. dating. Oh, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay here. Mm-hmm. And, but sometimes, like, if it's dry, this guy doesn't have Wi Fi or nothing. He has to, like, kick it on the bus stop or something. Right. Yeah. But imagine your whole life is like, yeah. I mean, at the same time, that's kind of sc- exciting, no? Kind of like, <laughs> like, like every day is a new challenge. Yeah. Like you have to survive. Yeah, like not not to say like I would love that. Like I wouldn't want that life, but not not to say like I wouldn't I wouldn't love a, a life of of because that's a lot of challenge and that's a lot of work too. So, so you have to you have to match with you have to be ha- this guy has to be handsome, fam. Yeah, he's handsome still. Okay, he's okay. a handsome guy, but he has to plan like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Like, what's my <laughs> fucking breakfast? Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I'm gonna have toast at this girl's. At yeah. this girl's house, and then tomorrow I'm gonna go sleep over at hers. She has Did that pool. guy become like a like a true crime case? Because that that sounds like the no, perfect I recipe think, for a true crime. I case. think it's just eventually he he was taken care of. Probably Word. that's what that's what, what I assume, right? Yeah. Because if you're going and hanging out with people eventually, I I personally think the more dates you go on, uh-huh. the better you'll be at dating. Word. And eventually someone's gonna want to marry you. Know? Isn't that like prostitution that he was doing then? I don't then know he if it's was prostitution like, so though. because because if you if you finesse some free stuff, you the girl is probably gonna be like, oh yeah, you're very handsome. Let's do something. I'll give you my house. Okay, hot take though. Yeah. Isn't every single relationship kind of prostitution? Huh? If you didn't marry, if you didn't marry, like that's a hot take. No. Like if you realize it, you have to take your girl out on a date, and then eventually she's gonna give it up to you. 
Give it up to me. <laughs> no, no, but <laughs> <laughs> talk about your girl doesn't have like. You guys go on a date, but she doesn't. You know, exactly. That's what I'm saying. She doesn't have to. Yeah, yeah. But for her to be interested at all, what do you have to do? You have to put some bread down. No, nah, but but the say like in other in other religions, the date you can't uh, fuck before marry. That's no. I that's said without marriage, bro. Oh, without I'm marriage? saying I'm oh, saying okay. every like oh, okay, hot take, hot take. No, yeah, like yeah. it's if you think about it in that way, mm. every single relationship is kind of like prostitution unless you don't. If if you if you're not marrying, see, I get your point, but it's the it's the way you say it's, it's the way it's it worded. It sounds bad. No, it sounds crazy, but but that's yeah, yeah. that's the shocking part of it, right? It sounds, it's like, oh shit, it's true. It you good. know what I mean? Like real talk, like you find you find a, a lovely girl, you want to take her out on a date, right? Yeah, yeah you're gonna have to take her out somewhere nice. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Up to her standards. Yeah. Is it not the same as like, what's your price? Yeah. I'm gonna pay you for this. Mm-hmm. Boom. Yeah. Same thing, no. Alive. It's, it's just packaged differently and there's more emotion to it yes yeah. like there is uh an emotion but like it's still kind of the same like you you give up some of your wait so you're saying you can you can't love a person without sex no I, that's another thing i didn't oh, say okay, that okay. at all fam. okay no no because I, I was like i was trying to like okay if you don't marry then... no if there's no if there's no sex involved then it's not prostitution at all yeah yeah okay. that's what i'm saying oh, okay i get it I get that's it. why i said like if you don't marry right yeah okay that makes sense no it's but like crazy like yeah yeah if, yeah if you find a girl and you're not gonna marry her then you know what i mean yeah that makes sense that makes sense i, I just like it was a shock to me when you first the said way it. i said it because yeah, yeah, it's supposed yeah. to be a shock yeah yeah it's supposed to be a shock I know, but but that okay. I want to get one more one more case because it's yeah. also about prostitution. Mm-hmm. So, have you ever heard about the the Hello Kitty murder case? Nah, I haven't heard you about haven't? this. Nah. Okay, so this happens in Hong Kong, right? Mm-hmm. So there was this um this girl named Fan Man Lee, I think. Yeah. And she was an orphan for maybe, I think until she was fifteen, right? Mm-hmm. But orphans have this rule where it's like um the orphanage has this rule where it's like if you become a certain age, they have to kick you out, right? Yeah. So. She leaves the orphanage, and what do you think she does because she's homeless to get money? What? She she starts prostitution. Yeah. So say yeah. she's a 21-year-old girl. She's doing all these. She's like, she, the, her income is prostitution. Because she has to. She has yeah. to. You know what I'm saying? And then she also has a drug addiction. Oh, so obviously sorry. when you're homeless, you, you develop a drug addiction. Mm-hmm. How are you going to fund it? You know, you're going to oh, do... Oh, so she just got in a loop of yeah, selling? A loop of selling her body, right? And then, oh, shit, so this and use the money. So this is what happens. So one day, she, I think she got a job at a brothel, and that's when she got a lot of clients, right? Mm-hmm. And she met this one pimp, right? And that pimp got so close to her, and they were. She was. he was like, oh, yeah, you can actually, like, uh, I'll give you a whole lot of money and stuff like that. But one, one day... She decided to steal that guy's wallet, right? Mm-hmm. And when he found out, oh my gosh, she was like, uh, she she got caught red-handed. She was like, oh yeah, I just need this money for right now. I'll pay you back. Like I'll, I'll sell more work. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And then she he was like, no, I want you to pay back the 10K right now. Every day, he kept increasing the pay. So it was like, no, I need 20K now. It's like mm. to, it's like a consequence of her actions. She's yeah. like, no, I need 30K. So now it got to a point where she couldn't even pay the money back, right? Mm. So that guy, the pimp, he got two of his homies, kidnapped her, got her to her, uh, got her to an apartment. Yeah, and yeah. like they tortured her. They made her eat her own shit. Her Yo, own wait, business. wait, wait. This happened in Japan? Yeah, Hong Kong. I heard about that. Yeah, Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah. Fan Yo. Man Lee. They made they made a manga about her. What? Yeah, and it was one of the best selling mangas for that like that like Word. niche. Yeah. Are you sure it's the right one? I think so. Oh. Wait, but was she raped by like fourteen people? No, that was a different one. Oh, that's a different. Yeah, one. that's a. Di- I think I told that one too yeah, in the yeah, past yeah. episodes. But this one is different. It was only the three guys, right? Okay, okay. But then after they said, okay, let's really destroy the evidence now. They chopped off her head, fam, and this is why it's called the Hello Kitty murder case. Mm. So the police. When they were f- trying to find the body, there was no head. They sewed the head into a Hello Kitty doll. Nah. So it was like, you know, the, the Hello Kitty body? It was yeah. like a small body. Inside was her head. They sewed That's it inside fucked. the doll. Yeah. So once the police found it, they, they took it out and it was like they were able to identify. Yeah. They identified the killers. They took all of them to jail. Holy shit. Yeah. That's fucked. That's it's, some real like dark web type yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Why do people do stuff like that? Though? I don't even know, man. I I think y- y- did I ever tell you this? Like, no. there's this movie came out long, long time ago, mm-hmm. but 
pretty much it was about something like that where there's serial killers that they would take like pieces of body parts and mm. cut them up blah blah yeah, blah yeah. right but the place they found this guy living mm. that's what scared me the most and that's what got me thinking about whether this happens in real life where did he live so he lived in this almost complex it's like a complex mm. but every single room yeah was someone just as fucked up as him what yeah so, so like a mental hospital type thing nah it's just like where they live Fuck. it's just really weird oh. so one of the rooms was obviously him that cuts up body parts there's another room where this guy he's like butt naked riding a unicycle mm. and then he has like makeup like a clown mask on it was yeah. weird yeah. but yeah. every single room has something different it's like weird shit just happening i'm pretty sure there was a torture happening yeah. in one but do you think that the energy of that like whatever you're into, let's say you're into evil things, like yeah. you attract more evil into you. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Because there's also um, uh, there's this girl in I think it was also in Japan, mm -hmm. who literally she she watches a lot of true crime. Like that's her that's her passion, her hobby. Oh, and she gets like right? high off of it. So like, yeah, exactly. So boom, she does every day true crime stories, true crime stories, and then she goes and uh, I guess she wants to try it herself. Mm -hmm. So she disguises herself as a tutor, uh, goes on the internet, posts her her advertisement. Yeah, boom, shit happens, kills the guy. Right? Mm -hmm. She gets uh, put into court. She says the the judge asks her why did she why did she do it? She said, "Oh, I watched so much of these things. Oh, I w I wondered what it felt like to kill." Damn, Bam, that's if, why. Yeah, if if you're so like like you said, if you're so in tune of what you do and you're passionate about it, yeah, you attract that energy. Like you want to yeah, do it. That's true. You know bro. what I'm saying? And taking this girl is the most innocent looking, like 20 year old girl. Like you, she wouldn't harm a fly, mm. but she does that because she's so like because that's she her was passion. into that like niche. Yo, Yo that's. Fuck. And guess what I do? I look into true crime too. Yo, <laughs> <Ew>, bro. Yo. <laughs> I sleep in the room next to you, fam. That's gross. <laughs> relax, relax. <laughs> You're good, fam. You're I open the door one day. This guy's on a unicycle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would. The last place I would go to like do anything is Carlos because fam, he has he's armed. <laughs> like he has nunchucks and a thing, fam. Why would I go to his? Room? I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, I hope nobody breaks in. <laughs> but it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's all for them. Whoever <laughs> comes. No, bro. That what a story. <laughs> if that's all I'm gonna say, what a story that would be. No, what a take story it. That. Have you ever been? Have you ever been hit by nunchucks? <laughs> you play rugby. <laughs> take it. We're gonna say our own crime story on our podcast. That's hard. Yo, not going. Nah, yeah, nah, 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 nah. I hope not, fam. I no, but take it. Take it. One night, I came at like um, I came at like I think it was um, it was like two a.m. or or early, early in the morning. It was one of those ones, right? Yeah. And then we have a door stopper which makes an alarm. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so thank God Carlos sleeps with like his headphones and earplugs, because when when I I opened the door and all I heard was a. Bing, 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 bing. I was yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. fuck, he about to come out the room. <laughs> like, yeah, I expected the, the door coming out and you, like, ready to fight. But nothing happened because I think you were, like, you Because that was the day I finished the vlog. Yeah. Go watch the vlog if you haven't watched it yet. Yeah, you were Project X video out right now. Go watch it. That's why I have the X on right now. Go watch that shit. Link in the bio. Link in the bio. <laughs> but you were, you were in a deep sleep. So. Yeah, no, I had my earplugs in and I had these <laughs> headphones on. These are, like, noise canceling. Yeah. And if I really want to turn it up, I put the brown noise, bro. Oh, yeah, the brown noise is killer. Brown noise headphones and earplugs not hearing yeah, yeah. shit <laughs> there, there was one guy who in in the middle of a youtube video yeah uh, of the brown noise youtube video he would like add audio in. and the gunshots <laughs> yeah that's so fucked bro <laughs> oh no he would be like wake up wake up watch out watch out that's that's ptsd you need yeah, to ask him for ptsd okay there's a video i want to show you okay okay hold on this is kind of crazy yeah. i really just want to know if you believe this or not okay let me see check this out so they found footage. This is in Canada. Oh, fuck. They found footage of an alien dropped off in the backyard of someone. What the fuck? Look, check this out. Backyard of someone's house. Wait, Do you see whoa, it though? Whoa. So look at it. This shit looks real. Yeah. But at the same time, it's so fucking crazy yeah, yeah, that I can I even believe this? There's like look an at it though. person beside it and another one's inside and it has big eyes and looking at us and it's so good. Okay, where is the fucking property? Yo, what? You know what I mean? So, so hear me out. Like it looks mad real. Yeah, yeah. 
But obviously, I like in my head, I'm like, nah, it has to be CGI. Mm -hmm. But how do we know? No, because I, I don't believe that because if something like that happened, right? Say an alien actually landed in someone's backyard. Yeah. Wouldn't that be on CCTV? Or wouldn't it be bigger news? You know what I'm saying? No, but at the same time, what if like it's not meant to be seen too? Oh. Because they're hiding it, right? Yeah. There's also, um, this is kind of crazy. The, mm -hmm. They're saying, you know Mel Gibson? No, who's that? He's the actor. Mel Gibson, he was in like Braveheart. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Mel Gibson... He's making a four-part documentary about the human child trafficking ring. Oh, now, shit. people are saying that he is in danger. Why? Why? Because literally all of the elites yeah. are what? Part of that ring. Like We're talking Jeffrey Epstein's Island. So we're talking about the pizza gate. We're talking about all of that stuff. Mm. So they're saying that if this four-part documentary doesn't come out, yeah. It's because of outside forces, like, you know what I mean? Taking people Four part out. Like, he said this mean? publicly, so definitely he would have a hit list on him, but fuck, Yo, if that happens. That's fucking dangerous. Yeah, it is. Because you can imagine, it's almost like, uh, let's say you did a crime. Yeah. Right? You did a crime. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's not necessarily evidence, but it's a whole documentary that's popular yeah. that leads to a theory about you being guilty. Obviously, you're going to do everything yeah. in your power, especially if you're guilty to not uh, let that shit out. Fuck. Why would he say that publicly? He should have just shot everything. and should have not attached just, his name. Yeah, oh, that he too. He should have not attached too. his name. But at the end of the day, do you think they would have figured out who it was? Because, like, if you if you go through the list of victims when you're finding out, like, who just fucking snitched on me? Yeah. He would be part of it because he has insider information. You know what I'm saying? So you think he's guilty too? Yeah. But... Let's say let's say he is guilty, but at least he's doing something to like. He's doing reverse something it, to you know? reverse it. Yeah, yeah. Yo, watch this whole thing just become a self snitch. Yo, yo. Because imagine theory. Yeah, yeah. He's so guilty that he's done all of these evil oh, that's things, so crazy. and it's fucking up with his head for that long that he said, "Nah, I have to, I have to come out yo. and say something." But like doing so, he reveals everybody else that did it with him. Yeah. Shit, I mean, on, honesty is the best policy. He would probably give in jail time, but maybe not as much, you feel me? As yeah, since like, he, he, Would they give Gunna? I mean, he uh, didn't snitch, though. I think he did. No, he did snitch. He did snitch? Yeah, so what well, in the song, Bread and Butter, if you listen, it was like, um, uh, I paid all, all these lawyers millions of dollars, but they tricked me. They, they worded their questions weirdly where they got me to admit some stuff. So... Oh, is that, is that okay. admitting? Is that admitting or is that thing? But <sighs> is that snitching or is that doing? It, it, it's a good way to say you're snitching. Okay, yeah, maybe low right. key. It is a good way to say you're snitching because you can just say like, "Oh yeah, my my tongue, my, my hands were tied," and like yeah. the lawyers fucked me up. Yeah, yeah. It, you didn't want to. <laughs> the lawyers made you, you know. Like that, like the Keen Peel uh, uh, scene where it's like they, they hand him a Big Mac. <laughs> God, I was like, all right, bro, I'm gonna tell. <laughs> like that's no. all they did. Yeah, because if you say to your lawyer, like, I want to get out of here, yeah, yeah, their job is to what? To get you out of here. Uh -huh. So they're gonna ask you questions to get you out of there, fam. That's all it is. Like, in 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 of itself, uh -huh. you hiring a lawyer mm -hmm. is snitching. Yep. If if you're actually about it, you just go to jail. You, you wouldn't even jail. try the trial. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, real talks. Because if, if you're if you're trying to get out of it, like how else are you going to get out of it mm. besides telling, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know though. I'm, I'm not yeah. in crime. You know what I mean? I know, I'm I not. In, I'm not in that life. <laughs> if you do the crime, you go. Like do my the religion time. teacher thought. I, I I wasn't though. I know that was that was low key. I don't know if that was racist or what that was stereotyping. But you didn't even have tats or nothing. Like look crazy at that time. But I guess she she just thought no because when I would go outside of the the class and then yeah, like. Yeah like pay somebody yeah. or like people pay me because i was selling stickers people oh, okay. she thought i, I was i was dealing you know yeah the only time i've been like profiled like that like heavy was uh in jamaica and i think i told that before but every time someone talked to me after she was like oh are you chinese like i would get yo are you chinese every time i ordered something where where was this jamaica jamaica so I, it would be like oh can i have some jerk chicken yo but we'll put it in the plate oh you got chinese chinese I'm like, whoa, whoa. but there's a lot of chinese in jamaica too yeah yeah. they yeah. have like a whole like a uh, community too mm -hmm. yeah but why would you like you feel me why would you i'm, I'm asian but okay i have a question asian. to you i have a question to you yeah because in in jamaica they they call him like mr chin mr chin yeah like they call him like mr chin yeah and mr jin i think but that's just what they call them because that's that's what they that's like their culture of like oh that's that's the mr chin that's like oh. because they're chinese 
Oh, really? So is that racist or is that just culture? Fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> is it racist or is it just culture? Or is culture racist? Or, culture racist? or look, look, or, oh, or hear me out, or hear me out. Is it racist not to accept their way of their culture? <laughs> and then that's where it gets a problem because everyone wants to be woke and everybody wants to be right about something, <laughs> yeah. but why can't we just all be? Yeah, no, even, even, even just you bringing that up, people are, it's already, you have to take a side. So check this out. There was, there was a video mm -hmm. and I forgot what it was, but it was like, um, it was a conference they were having and this woman was having like a debate and after she was done, she said like, um, she said the wrong pronouns or whatever. Yeah. And then the next person that came on said, blah, blah, blah. And then he said the wrong pronouns because trying to pr uh, correct her. Yeah. And she's like, nah, you can't call me that. You said it wrong. Guess what? You, 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 you figured me out. You know what I mean? It's like you were wrong. You assumed. And then it just became a, a uh, never ending like avalanche of yo you're wrong because you called me this and then this and then now we're all angry and then uh -huh. why can't we just be yeah you know like who cares if, if it's not out of a place of hate like who the fuck cares exactly. in my opinion did, did that happen on on national television this was on yeah this was on television i forgot what it was for <laughs> yeah, though so it was aired out but yeah if, if you think about like the i think the way society is running right now mm -hmm. y'all are trying to get offended like why don't instead of trying to be offended, try to understand. Mm. That's that's hard, man. Because a lot of people are mad ignorant, but right. Yeah. If we just try to understand instead of to try to try to try and be like a victim, people like, are not built. Why like do mans want to be victims so bad? Shit. Because <laughs> maybe you never know, bro. Maybe they have a, they ha everyone has a point though. It's just like exactly everyone but, has a point, but everyone is wrong in their own respectful way. You exactly. Know? If everyone does have a point, right? But the moment we say everybody has a point, then whose point matters more? Mm, yeah. That, if you say everybody has a point. Still. Exactly. So then it becomes a never ending cycle. Like, yeah, he doesn't like that. I like this. But yeah. y'all are going to disagree on something though, regardless. Mm -hmm. Like my life is different from your life. We're going to disagree somehow because my life ended up like this. Yeah. Your life ended up like that. You're not wrong. I'm not wrong. Why can't we just live? Why do we have to like fight about it? Yeah. Now people is like, um, especially the comedians, they get the most backlash because they they have to perform live television, maybe Netflix specials, yeah. and they're like they have to watch what they say. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or else some shit would, you know. Side note: yeah. I just want to say this. This is crazy. There's um, did you know like the Bible has a prophecy just like the, you know you know the sword in the stone. Yeah. Whoever can pull this sword is king, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. There's actually a prophecy on who. Jesus, how Jesus is going to show himself and how we're going to know it's him. How? So check this out. Yeah. So there's this place. It's called, it's called the Mount of Olives. Now this is in Jerusalem. It's like nearby Jerusalem, yeah. but they say whoever walks on this Mount of Olives, it's like, it's just like a hill pretty mm -hmm. much. It's like a mountain, kind of like a hill. Yeah. They, they say whoever walks on there immediately an earthquake will happen. Now check this out. Oh, shit. Now check this out. Right. Just recently, yeah. just recently, they studied it and the tectonic plates of Jerusalem are starting to merge in a way that an earthquake is likely to happen Yo. soon. Yeah. Oh. Now, I hope I'm part of it. Yeah. If y'all think you might be the next prophet, take a trip. To where? To Jerusalem, the Mount of Olives. And, and walk the hill? I'll walk the hill. If, if an earthquake happens when you walk it. No, that's insane. But I feel like nobody can predict that though. That's not like, <laughs> like honestly, nobody can predict it. But that's what that's what the thing says. Yo, why? Why when you're telling the story, right? And you're like, um, <laughs> you're like a prophet will walk and um, and uh, make an earthquake in the hill. I thought like literally you were gonna say, oh, and Andrew Tate recently. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, I thought that's where it was going. Andrew and, no, Andrew like, and guess what happened? Andrew Tate went on the hill <laughs> and the tectonic plates. Oh, hold on, hold on. This comes from. Just so I can cite my sources, yeah, this yeah. comes from Zechariah 14.4. Okay. Just so I can cite my sources. Zechariah, okay. So if y'all are saying like, cause I don't know no Bible, cause I don't know, yeah, right there, Zechariah 14.4. <laughs> there you go. My I, I sources. Say, I say we take, uh, we take all our homies, right? And we go to Jerusalem and you one by <laughs> one, one by one we walk, right? <laughs> It's like it's like not even you and not even me. It's like the guy we never expected to be the prophet. Everyone starts. Uh, he starts walking. Oh shit! <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, like, yeah, this fake. Yo. This fake. 
Yo, if it's not Carlos, he'll be like, yeah, it's fake, it's fake. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Fuck what I said. No, no, but I'm just hoping, like, what if I send someone over there from the podcast and they're like, yo, because I because I watched Jumpers Jump, I ended up taking a trip down there. <laughs> I'm playing, no, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Like, like, this is satire, it's satire. It's, it's like on the hill, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of kids. There's like a lineup, there's a lineup. A lineup. <laughs> Yeah. Like tomorrow there's a lineup. Like, you know how they did the, the Area 51 thing? Yeah, yeah. Like they're all gonna storm Area 51 at the same time. Oh, and then, then, like there's just like a whole meet and greet. Like I right, who's next. That's a be- <laughs> Yo, that's a VR meet and greet, so I who's next. That's fire, bro. Yo. Oh, that's kinda sick though. That's like who's next. <laughs> Do you think God has a sense of humor? That's a great question. <laughs> what? Probably, because if he gave us a sense of humor, no, because th- I think I'm um, like you know how karma works. I feel like that's God's way of like laughing at us. Yeah, it's like ha, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like if someone just did something wrong, and then like oh, he puts an invisible wire. Mm-hmm. Oh, he fell. Because <laughs> in a sense, I think like humor is love. Yeah, you know what I mean. Loki humor is love because for me to make fun of you, it means like I love you. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? Oh no, that's that's a fact. Like if I don't make fun of like all my homies. And like the most because I, I didn't mean, care about it means I didn't care about yeah, you. Yeah, that means I yeah. did. Like I don't love you that much, fam. Mm-hmm. But for my friends that I barely make fun of, because it's like we haven't gone on that that level yet where I can say, just say pick up the phone like yo what's up bitch yeah, or yeah, some yeah. shit like that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. Because I think I don't know, bro. It's almost like a thing of um, it's like a trust. It's like I'm yeah. I'm, I'm giving you my 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 self esteem. I'm putting in your hand. Yeah, yeah. Like and, yeah, and then and you know you know like certain things will hurt, but some things won't. Yeah, yeah. But you, I trust you to play with it. Exactly. You know I mean? exactly. Like you, you play with my toy. <laughs> Pause. That sounds so good. That sounds so. Good. That sounds so. No, good. but you, you know those you know those ones in recess where like you give the kid your your toy. Yeah, to you, don't you don't want to break it. You don't want to break it. Yeah, yeah. Feel me? They 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 do it. I feel like it's like they do it until the line, but you never cross that line. Mm. But even if you cross that line, then your homie has the has the go to be like, oh, I can cross that line True. too, and that's where it becomes it's it's all good because it's like you know each other's. Like line, yeah. All right, before we end it off, hold on, I want to show you yeah, this. Yeah. This this is kind of cool too. Look, I already just know, watched yo, this video from that from, sound, from the sound. You already know, I, you already know what's going on from the sound, bro. Look at okay, just just watch this video. Yeah. Don't even don't even read this. Don't even read it. Just watch it. Yeah, I showed this to you. You showed me this. I think yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you know what this is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What is it? Because there's like the masks. No, it's not. Those aren't masks at all. Those are real people? Those aren't people at all. Oh, what? Those are robots. What? Those are robots, but it looks so human. Wait, is this like the animatronic museum? Yeah. Oh. Look how real that looks. Wait, even the people in the back are animatronic? Yeah, look, they're not moving. It's all wax Whoa. and robots. No, that's weird. Damn. That's weird. That shit looks like real yeah. life. That's weird. That's fine. So if robots can look that real to you, because watching that, it feels like somebody, it feels like I can see their soul type shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. But there's nothing but there. But there's nothing there. It's there's blank, nothing there. Fam. Also, there's a theory, mm-hmm. you know, in uh, Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. In California, mm-hmm. the, the Star Wars ride. That we went on? Yeah. So you know how, you know how the, the stormtroopers are all oh, lined like up? Oh, like this. Yeah, there's mm-hmm. a bunch of them. So check this out. But if you look really closely. Uh-huh. You can see like their arm. Move, like, Hell like. no. No, you're lying. You're lying. Yeah. You're if lying. you look really closely at the stormtroopers, they move a little bit. So nobody knows the truth. And apparently some of the Disney employees don't know the truth. Oh, fuck but no. it might not even be people. It might just be robots, but it could be people. You yeah. don't know. No, because from the history of Disney, they do some slimy, like dark shit over there. And it's like, what if a, a worker fucked up? Oh yeah, go stand in that um in that uh, uh stormtrooper stormtrooper costume all day. Yeah, fam, what do you think would have happened? Damn, Fuck, bro, I believe that shit too, man. It's like punishment. Yeah, like, y'all y'all gotta stand there. Yeah, and and I don't know why, but like also like a, a case that hasn't been recently um like aired on 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 like live TV mm-hmm. is Abby Choi. She's also an influencer. I think I heard of that name. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Abby Choi, she she posted a, a Instagram picture of herself. She, I think she's a model, right? Mm-hmm. I think it was February, 2023. That's how recent it was, right? And what the police found was her, her shit, like her body like disappeared. Like she went missing, right? Mm-hmm. And all of a the sudden they found in like um uh, a condo or like a, 
a building, right? Yeah. They three guys like rented out a floor and made it into a makeshift like slaughterhouse. And it was like oh, splat shit. proof. Splat proof. They cover up the. So they made a murder house. Yeah, and they it had like um meat grinders. They had damn uh, like all the knives that you can imagine, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Abby Choi, like R.I.P. Abby Choi. This I don't know why they haven't been talking about her more, mm -hmm. but she was found in there because her purse and her ID was found at the site, right? Oh, that's how they recognize. And they found this is on some Jeffrey Dahmer shit. They found two legs in the fridge. Nah. They found her head in a pot with carrots and radishes, fam. Nah. So that means those killers They're cannibals. were actually cannibals, fam. That's why there's no evidence. Yeah, like fam, did. I'm telling you, there with meat grinders, there was there was uh uh what do you call this? Grounded up meat. What do you think that was, fam? Damn, bro. Yeah, like trigger warning. I'm sorry, I didn't put a trigger warning, but put a trigger warning. But that's fucked. Fam. That's that's crazy. R.I.P. Abby Choi. That's man. like there's this, there's a show called You, and then one yeah. of the ways he got rid of his body was they took the meat grinder in the in the grocery store. The ones, yeah, the ones that they put the whole cow in, in. the grocery store. Yeah, so he brought the body to the grocery store and put it in the meat grinder. Oh hell no! And then you couldn't find it. Like it just looks. And like then meat. that ended up in people's sandwiches. No, I don't think they cooked oh, it and okay. shit. I don't. Holy I think shit. they just like discarded it. But fuck, still, man. Like you wouldn't be able to tell. Yeah, that. you couldn't. That's fucked. You wouldn't be able to tell. Yeah, man. Holy shit. What if you accidentally ate like a human burger though? Did you see that? Oh, there was also um uh there was like a ga a prank game show. Where, that they said it's a real yeah, human. Yeah, so, so, so it was like what's in it. I think it was called What's in it, right? Yeah. And there was a chef, and she it was it's a whole prank, and she's like, okay, there's three mystery ingredients. You have to guess which one. So mm -hmm. it's like broccoli, shark, and human flesh, right? Oh my god. So the girl is like. Oh, hopefully, I, I 100 percent it's not human flesh. Yeah, I think it's shark. <laughs> the other girl, oh, for sure, I taste broccoli. And yeah. then the chef just standing there, like, oh yeah, it's also a, del a delicacy in our country, human flesh. That's but well, wait, it was real? No, no, it, well, it's obviously oh, fake. Oh, it was a joke. But, but they made them think it was human oh. flesh. And then the, the, the lady, uh, automatic gag reflex. Ew. She's like, um, excuse me, why didn't you tell me that this was going to happen? Yeah, but it was okay. It was okay. It was okay. Yeah. It was okay. It was not. I, I watched one of the game shows <laughs> where it wasn't okay, though. Fam. So check this out. There's this guy. Yeah. He was on a game show and it was like, smell what's in here. Yeah. So the first one, he goes, flowers. He goes, the next one, apple pie. Okay. And then the next one, he goes, and he couldn't smell it. Like, he couldn't smell it all. Yeah. Like, he didn't have COVID or nothing. He just. He just couldn't, and he goes closer. He goes, yeah. No. And he goes, shot. smelly ass. Ding. <laughs> that smells like ass. And then, and then he was he was so in the zone trying to win this shit <laughs> that he went to the next one and they tried to smile. And then he goes, wait, wait, y'all were serious. <laughs> Yo, yo, like no way, no way I smelled the smelly ass. <laughs> so he thought it was a joke? <laughs> and then I think he goes back. Yo, he goes back. <laughs> and feels there's hair. Ew, ew, ew. And, then, ew. and he starts throwing, he goes, Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Wait, so there was a there was an ass? There was actually an oh, ass. Nah. It was actually nah. an ass, man. Like this this was a real game show. I think it was in like Europe or something. He did ass put his nose in like someone's butt crack them. Crazy. And he goes, smell the ass? <laughs> he said it as a question, feel me? Like I don't know, smelly ass? Ding! Ding. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think it's crazy. Yo, and he Bro, went back. And he was so serious, like he was going to the next one. All right, next one. Wait. Because <laughs> he it, it didn't click in his head. Dog, you just smelt a butt. <laughs> Ew. No, nah, it's crazy. Game, game shows internationally go go crazy, man. Yo. I'm surprised that wasn't a Japanese game show because that's the type of thing they do in Japan, fam. It, it could have been like, a Japanese. Like a I don't know like if it's Japanese, though. Shows? Japan trolls hard, fam. Yeah, Japan's <laughs> different. We'll be out there soon. Yeah, we'll be out there yeah. soon in Japan. I will right, we'll end it there. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of the Jumper Jump Podcast. Yes, Make sir. sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Go watch my video. Link in the description below. Yes, Project X video is out now. Make sure to go on Spotify, Apple. Go download this episode. Uh, rate it a five star. Also, go uh, and follow us on Instagram. My hats, my fitted hats are coming out soon. I guess you can call this merch. You feel me? Go cop that. Go cop that. Yes, sir. Find it on the website. And yes, yeah, sir. Jumpers Jump out. Deuces.